Today we're talking about a few interesting ways to spice up a music video inside Adobe After Effects. So without wasting any time, let's get started. All right, for the first effect, I got a clip of some cool guy dancing and singing. I want the footage to be 5 seconds for the sake of the tutorial, so I'll trim it down to my favorite part. Okay, next I double click on the footage layer to open it up separately in a preview panel. Then I use the roto brush tool to isolate this object from the background. I'll draw the line on the subject and whenever you see this yellow suggestion here, you should go back to the main comp preview panel and set the resolution to full in order to help the AI see the image more clearly. Then every time I need to exclude some parts from the mask, I can hold ALT to have a red negative brush and specify the parts I don't want to be masked. Now I hit play and it goes forward analyzing the subject frame by frame. And any frame that gets wrong, I can pause and refine the mask manually. Then I get a preview. Nice. For this specific effect, you usually don't need a perfect mask, so I'll click on freeze to bake the mask into the footage. Okay, now that it's finished, if I toggle the transparency on, you can see that the background has been removed from the footage. Next, I'll duplicate the footage and delete the roto brush effect from the bottom one, which is going to be our background. Now we can add as many effects as we want to the background. So I'll start with the turbulent displace, which as you can see gives our footage a wavy form. I can play with the amount of displacement, the size of it, and the complexity that makes it wavier. I want to match the appearance of the waves with his move, so I'll set keyframes for the displace amount to make it appear as he puts his foot on the ground. Not bad, let's feather the roto brush edge a little for the top layer. The next effect I want to use for the background is the chromatic aberration which is a free plugin that gives a nice retro RGB edge to everything. Here you can choose the color channels and the position or the offset of colors and the scale of the effect. Now let's animate the effect by setting keyframes for the position and scale of the chromatic aberration. And this is how it turns out to be. Then you can add some other effects like glow to spice it up even more. But as you can see, everything depends on the footage you're working on. And the glow effect clearly doesn't work on this one. So this is what we end up with for the first effect. Okay, for the second effect, we need the footage with the subject almost in the middle. So I'll bring in my footage and trim it to 5 seconds. Then duplicate the footage and using the ellipse tool while the footage is selected, make a circular mask in the middle of it by holding Ctrl Alt Shift. Then feather the mask a bunch and invert it. Maybe a bit more feathered. Okay. The size of the mask depends mostly on the subject's face, so play with the mask expansion until it covers the face perfectly. Then increase the scale of the footage to make a mirror effect. Again, it depends on how distant you want the edges to be. I would like to have more of it, so I'll increase the scale even more to have a look like this. Next, we can add some color separation with an effect like Tritone. Set the midtones to maybe blue and blend it with the original colors a bit. You can also add a glow to the footage to make it pop. And maybe a bit more of the original colors in the tritone. Then you can have the tritone for the base layer and change the midtones to the opposite color of the top one. In this case, I'm gonna go with something warm to make some sort of a dual tone effect. Change the blending of the colors and this is what we have. Next you can add some blur to the top layer and change the direction based on your footage. And this is what we've made for the second effect. 
The last one is a bit crazy effect and my personal favorite among them. Now for this one I have a footage that has a bit more of the environment of the subject. Okay, it's very simple to do. Scale the footage down to something like 50%, then add the CC lens effect to it. The goal here is to set the size and convergence in a way that doesn't distort the whole image and allows the subject to be clear. I found these values best for this footage, but you should play around with the setting until it looks something like this. Now to fill the rest of the frame with the same footage, what I'm gonna do is to pre-compose the footage and make sure to check move all the attributes. Then I add the CC lens again to the pre-composed layer and play with the setting until it covers the entire frame. And you get an effect like this, where the image is clear in the middle, but spherical around the edges. Cool, now to make it even more interesting, you can add the fine edges effect to make it look like this, which I'm crazy enough to like and leave it there, or blend it with the original footage. Next, I'll add color balance HLS to change the colors. And also, as always, add some glow if it works for your footage. Finally, you can set keyframes to animate the hue throughout the shot. In this case, I'll go with three turns. And this is our crazy psychedelic effect. But if you want to take this awesome color effect to the next level, you can definitely count on our CL Acid Pack, which is loaded with more than 30 presets to do the magic for you. So as always, links are in the description. Have a look and good luck.